In this video, we will show you how to submit routine locate requests. After logging in and while looking at the main menu, select Submit a Locate Request. This will bring you to the iTIC User Information and Excavator Information sections. Be sure your name and contact info are in the iTIC User Information section. Confirm all information and make any necessary changes. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will take you to steps 1 and 2. First, step 1. Contact information. Enter the name and telephone number of someone who is familiar with the project, preferably someone who will be on-site during excavation. If you will be the only person digging, enter Same here. Next is step 2. Excavation information. For type of work, enter the purpose of the excavation, and not the method. You can use the keyword auto search function in this field. For example, entering a word like install will bring up a list of potential matches. For work being done for, enter the name of the company, person, or organization you are doing the excavation for. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will take you to Step 3, Location Information. Using the drop-down menus, select the county and city or place where the work will be done. If work is taking place outside of city limits, enter the name of the nearest city to where the work is being done. In the House Number field, enter the number of the worksite's address. If there is no physical address, leave this field blank. In the Street Name field, enter the name of the dig street. You can use the keyword auto search function here as well. For the closest cross street, Enter the name of the road that intersects the dig street closest to where the work will take place. Please keep in mind that this may not necessarily be a major road. In location of work, enter a complete description of your entire excavation area. Be as detailed as possible. Describe any area where excavation may take place and not just where you believe lines may be buried. Next is step 4, the map it section. In the Map It section, you will need to select an area on the map that will completely encompass your dig site. The iTIC computer thinks it has found a match for the address that I have entered. This potential match is represented by a place mark on the screen. There are several tools in the Map It section that can help ensure you are mapping in the correct area. Selecting the Identify tool will allow you to click on certain map features to find out more information about them. This information will appear at the bottom of the map screen after the word Highlight. You may also cycle through different map views. The satellite view provides overhead satellite imagery. The Google view provides information from the Google Maps database. The hybrid map is a combination of OCC mapping and satellite imagery. You will need to be in the OCC map view in order to approve your mapping. Once you have found the correct location, you will need to select an area on the map that will completely encompass your entire dig site. You will do this by drawing a polygon. First, select the Draw tool, found in the lower right corner of the map. If parcel data is available, you can narrow your mapping down to the single lot where your work will take place. With the Draw tool active, start drawing your polygon by clicking on the map where you would like to begin. Continue to draw until your entire excavation area is encompassed. To close out the polygon, simply click on the same point where you began. After drawing your polygon, you can adjust it by dragging and dropping the corner points you've created. Once you are sure your entire work area has been encompassed, move to Step 5, Start Date Information. The Work to Begin date will automatically default to the earliest available time, based on when you are filing your locate request. If you will begin your work at a later date and or time, you can adjust the start date and time by using the calendar buttons and the drop-down menus. Keep in mind, though, that if you do select a later date and or time, you are agreeing to postpone your excavation until that point.
When you are ready, click Next Step. This will take you to the Underground Facility Operators list. This is a complete list of the utilities that will be notified as a result of your ticket. If there is a utility that you know to be missing from this list, it may be wise to return to the Map It section and remap the area. At this point, clicking Next Step will submit the locate request to the call center for review. You will also receive a ticket number. Please keep in mind that your ticket will still need to be reviewed by the call center. You will receive an email when your ticket has been released to the utilities. You can now start a new ticket, view the ticket you have just created, or click Finished to return to the main menu.